In this review we're into something different, which is radio control. The model is a giant PH electric mining shovel, and the radio control conversion is by HK Functions Model Bow. The base model was originally produced by TWH Collectibles. The box is huge and it's very well packed, and even when you take the top tray off, there's plenty more pieces of packaging to remove. Included with the model are a couple of PH marketing brochures and they provide some information about the real machine. But this is a radio control model, so it does get a manual that covers all of the radio control functions, and it also contains other helpful information about the model. The manual is provided in both German and English. Assembly? What assembly? Well this is an electric mining shovel and the model is realistic because there's an electric cable coming from the stinger and you need to plug that into a transformer so the model can be powered. Let's have a look around the detailing and it's essentially unchanged from the original TWH model. And firstly it looks very convincing because it's a massive lump of metal. So it is very heavy, but there's plenty of great detailing. The crawler tracks are suitably massive and robust. And at the back, the counterweight is also massive. Going up a bit, there's plenty of nice modelling with mesh walkways and metal handrails. And when you get close up, there are really nice details such as door handles and graphics. This version of the model comes with an operator in the cab, and that's appropriate because of its radio control. And you wouldn't want to see the machine moving about with no one in the cab. Up on top the support cables are impressive and they have a steel colour. And even though the model is motorised it's all been done in a way which is discreet and doesn't affect the look of the model. The boom and dipper arm are heavy and impressive pieces of modelling. And of course the big bucket is big. Very big. <laughs> So before we get onto radio control, let's see what's not motorised. And if you want to open the doors on the cab, then you have to do that by hand. If we go to the back, there's also one ladder that's not motorised and you can lower it if you wish. But the main game is radio control and here's the DX10 transmitter. And we use that to control the model, including switching the lights on and off. And using a joystick, we can make the model go left and right. The first thing to note about this is that the motors are proportional, so you can get them to run at a slow speed or a faster speed, and because of that it all looks more realistic. If we use the other joystick then the hoist function works and we can raise and lower the bucket, and again it's nicely proportional. The bucket crowd function also works nicely. It is also fully functional because you can open the dipper door remotely. The model is a big chunk of metal and it weighs over 13 kilograms. And it's got powerful motors which are used to drive the crawler tracks. They are also variable speed. And there's enough power and flexibility to enable the model to be steered. So all the main functions work and there's also another nice touch. And that is that the main access stairs can be lowered remotely. And it's also nicely programmed because you can't rotate the model at the same time and damage the stairway. So we've seen the dipper door open but how can you close it? Well, by drawing the bucket in and upright, the door snaps shut, and then you're all set for another digging cycle. If you like to run a night shift, then you can spread some light, and the bright LEDs look good on the model. So, here we are running the night shift as the big 4100 XPC loads up a mining truck. And if everyone really is asleep, there's a sound effect on the model which would wake everybody up. <coughs> Let's now take a closer look at some of the functionality and here are the crawler tracks. And you can see that they can be made to move at a very slow speed and then speed up as you want. The motors are also powerful so here we have a test going up a gradient of 7.5% and the model has no problem also going up a steeper gradient of 10%. It climbs well and at this angle we're at the limit of the track slipping on the smooth surface. The nicest feature of the model is the proportional control on the motors and the fact that you can smoothly get high and low speeds. This precision control makes the model realistic, 
And to test that, let's try and use this big shovel to pick up a simple road barrier. It does take skill to operate the model, so you do have to practice a bit if you want to be good at it. But of course that would be true for the real machine as well. So come on driver, let's have a go at picking up this barrier. And as you can see, the control is smooth enough and precise enough to pick up the barrier. If this was real life, you've just witnessed the world's most expensive barrier moving operation. And let's now try something else that only Cranes Etc would attempt to do. The team have decided that we need to get the 4100 XPC onto a low loader. And they've all convinced themselves that this is really a very good idea. Of course it's a modelling disaster and too horrific to show. Now we'll simulate some mining activity and instead of rock we'll use cork fragments. These look good and they won't damage the paint on the model. So let's have a go at digging and you need to carefully optimise the crowd action and the hoist action. But if you do that well it is possible to completely fill the bucket. If you then want to make a mess you can spread the cork all over the floor. And the only part of the operation which is not so realistic is the speed of that dipper door opening. Rather than make any more mess the Cranes Etc team have whistled up a mining truck. And then you can practice at getting an efficient cycle time to load the truck. It has to be said that doing this operation is not as easy as it looks. And you do have to practice driving the model to get it to perform well. Now let's view the loading in slow-mo to get that super realistic look. The original TWH model was outstanding and it also had working lights. But this radio control version by HK Functions Model Bow puts it on a whole new level. The model engineering of the radio control and motors is excellent. And the best part about it is how the whole model works realistically. It is outstanding.